Martin that are going to perform later. Can you give it up for them, please? And please, lastly, can you give it up for Starbucks apple cider? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so delicious. Just go get one after the thing is over. In case. My name is Nick Carter. Um, I can't sing, I can't play instruments. I'm gonna do a little comedy though. Um, and really, I'm just here as a white blood cell doing my part to fight against HIV and AIDS. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't have a costume for you guys. I wanted to make a costume, and I went to Michael's to look for the white styrofoam parts. They were completely out. They only had the off-white, but I thought that made me look like a sperm cell. <laughs> It doesn't really want to work. Anyway, you know, I was thinking though, when I walked back empty handed from Michael's, that I had a chance to really make history. You know, I had a chance with white styrofoam pieces to become a life size black white blood cell. <laughs> and that's amazing. But we won't get to see that tonight. But it does allow me to talk about something. This is a long uh, standing belief I have, but it's not really widespread. Um, and that is that I believe that all our bodies are post racial, right? I believe that little black, white blood cells can fight alongside little white, white blood cells, Asian, Arab, Hispanic white blood cells. I have a dream today. Yeah, <laughs> Martin Luther King would beat my ass. <laughs> but look, we're concerned about Mexicans crossing the border when they've already crossed the borders of our hearts. Inside. Right? But seriously though, if you if you if you watch TV for so long, it will tell you how to think about the world. You watch enough TV, and it'll say that we're all divided as a nation, that there are no similarities across racial groups. And that's not true, right? You watch a lot of TV, you watch enough TV and you'll think, all white people are born with a gene that guarantees uncoordinated dancing and or drunken random acts of violence at parties. You watch enough TV and you'll think that all black people were born with four arms, too attached and too loaded. <laughs> you think that all Asians are born with econ workbooks, or all Muslims are born with ABC bomb construction workbooks. And that's not how life works. We're better than that, guys. We're better than that. But you know what? I would make a kick-ass white blood cell. You would want me in your body. And don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> because, you see, you have all different types of white blood cells. You have the general white blood cells. You got the sniper white blood cells. You got the Jet Li Ninja assassin white blood cells. And then you have me, the extractor, special forces. All right? Now, they bring me in when they can't get the information out of the terrorist germs and virus cells. They bring me in. I go in, boom, I get the answers. I get the information. But I don't do intimidation tactics, you know, not the standard torture techniques. No, I do something further. I just tell really, really, really bad jokes <laughs> until I get the information that I need. For example, <clears throat> HIV cell. I assume you've met the germ Monia. I knew Monia once. She always made me sick. Pneumonia. Pneumonia, it's a disease, guys. <laughs> HIV cells not quick enough to give you another one. I used to go to school, Immuno University. I always used to feel like a prison. I guess that's because I lived with three other cellmates. <laughs> Cellmates. Hey, did you hear about the eyes? They're starting a new rap group. They call it Eyeballers. They're rappers with a vision. <laughs> you know, I, I went to a concert once. Their concert last week, up in the lungs. It blew me away. Hey, you gonna give us some information yet? 
Ain't y'all beats out? Huh? No? All right. I got more. I can do this all day. You know what? I feel sorry for you. And I only feel sorry for the feet. Because not only do they look tired, but they have tired souls. Tired souls. And you know what? Have you ever seen an adult knee? I remember when it was just a kid knee. <laughs> oh my God. And have, you ever, have you ever been on the highway and heavy traffic turned into a blood clot? I used to do that. But now I take the heart bypass. Oh my God. Oh my. You know, I feel, I feel like the chest can never get ahead in life. And that the head can never keep abreast of things. And that the breast can never get a leg up. And that the legs are so hopelessly, hopelessly weak. They can never arm themselves. And that the arms are hopeless screw ups. And they keep digging around. And you don't even want to get me started about the penis. Oh, we have some information they're hiding out in the liver. All right, go check on that site. And it better be right because I have two and a half more pages of jokes. HIV cell. All right, so look, you might groan, you might even laugh for some reason. But the point is, I will be helping you guys out, helping your health out and working for the greater good. And really, that's what this day is all about. Fighting for the greater good. Anyway, that's my time, guys.